All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Waha Racha Kodash. Racha Kodash. Salakia. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, this is uh, I now with GMS Dallas and I got the brother Ma'ait Kabash with me. And uh, we just wanted to get into a quick uh, uh, video about the parable of the uh, wineskins, the old and the new wineskins. So without further ado, brother, could you go ahead and bring out... Uh, Luke chapter uh, 5, please. Kind of. This is Luke chapter 5, verse 35. All right. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. Could you could you start um could you start at uh the 30 the 33rd first Bible Pusha? Kind. This is Luke chapter 5, verse 33. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine, but thine eat and drink? Right. And these uh, uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees um, basically came to Yahweh uh, trying to prove him with questions, asking him, you know, uh, how come your disciples... Uh, 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 don't fast uh, and, and, and pray like uh, John the Baptist's disciples fast and pray, right? And so, um, you know what? Let me get a, a, a precept that, that brings something to mind here. Okay. Because uh, because uh, to the to the to the ungodly, man, everything is unclean, man. You know, you always got you always got guys who just constantly bugging and nagging, um, and they never they never really are able to get any edification out of what's out of what they're taught. You know, um, this is John. I'm sorry, Matthew chapter uh, 11 and 16. It says, "But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows." And saying, we have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. And that's that song, that new song that we're singing to, to our nation, uh, the, 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 uh, the opportunity for our nation to repent and be reconciled again with the Heavenly Father. Uh, our, our people aren't, they're not dancing to the, to, the, to the music that we're putting out. All right? The spiritual music, you see? Lord willing, we're going to get that um, new song scripture. But uh, it says, and ye have not danced. And we have we have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. All right, we read out we're reading out of the book of you know uh, Lamentations and, and and showing all of these um, prophecies that are going into the destruction of America, and these people are still you know uh, uh, worshiping Serapis Christus, man. I'm sorry, Serapis Christus, and they're still uh, uh, celebrating Christmas and, and and birthdays and eating pork and shrimp and lobster, and all of these things are uh, abominable in the eyes of the Most High. But even though we even though we are, we're telling our people to repent, they are not trying to hear it, man. OK. And just to back up uh, the uh, the fact that they lack proper judgment, Yahweh Shai basically gave him this example uh, in the 18th verse. It says, for John came neither eating nor drinking. And they say he hath a devil. All right. So they say, OK, if he fast. John's, you know, John the Baptist, he was a, he was a, a man who was endowed with endowed with the Holy Spirit. OK. And he 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 uh, fasted, you know, and they and they said he had, he had a demon on. him, OK. All right. But yeah, here's the here's the here's the the, the flip side on it. Yahweh Shai, the son of man, I'm going to read it verbatim. The son of man came eating and drinking. And they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. A friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. So either way it go, you're going to be condemned by, by the world if you're uh, uh, preaching uh, the the true doctrine of the How about Shimei Shai, man? If you're really a man of the Lord, you're going to catch hell anyway. I just wanted to get that uh, that quick that quick precept before we uh, continue on. Uh, 
Go ahead, bro. Uh, uh, brother. Bubba Kusha. Con. This is verse... I'm going to start... I'm going to read verse 34 again. Or it's like 35. This is Luke chapter 5, verse 35. No, no, no. Read, read 34. Okay. Read, read 34. Con, con. This is Luke chapter 5, verse 34. And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? Right. Can you make the days can you can you make can you make the children of the bridegroom fast while the bridegroom is with them? Yahweh Shai is our is our is our bridegroom, man. Okay? Fine. And we are that bride. Alright, and we're gonna be married uh, uh back into the uh, uh uh heavenly father's good graces. Okay, we're gonna be brought back unto him through that that marriage supper, man. The marriage supper of the Lamb. Okay. Um and brother, if you got any precepts, you know, feel free to bring them out. I'ma just, you know, I like I'ma go verse by verse, bro, so we can get all the meat off the bone. Um so it says, it says, um uh it says, uh, can can you make the children of the bride bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? So how is y'all saying what how are you going uh to expect them to fast and all that while I'm still here? You know, right now it's time for them to learn. Okay, there's gonna be a time to fast, man. Right now we're in the time of fasting. Okay, <laughs> we're in a time of mourning right now because we we're we're, we're destroyed. You know, Yahweh Shai, he's he's with us in the spirit, but in in it, it, it was a different story while he was here in the flesh. You see, uh, Yahweh Shai said, "Yet a little while I am with you," but uh, uh, I, you know, there's a roughly paraphrasing. I'm gonna go where. Uh, uh, you, you cannot come. He said that to, um, well, actually I might be mixing up two scriptures. Let me just pull it up yet a little while. I am with you. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a couple of times. Um, it says in uh, John, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this one. John chapter 12 and 35, it says, Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. All right? And so they were walking, you know, while they had the light. They didn't, there wasn't really no need to fast and, you know, uh, do all of those things uh, at that time because they were still learning. The, uh, the the disciples were still uh, getting taught that doctrine. Okay, it says, "Lest darkness come upon you, for he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth." And Yahweh Shai was that light, so there was no need for them to, uh, uh, you know, do everything in a perfect in a perfect uh, uh, way or a specific way according to the custom that that the Pharisees and the Sadducees had set up. All right. Now this doesn't mean that the law was done away with, but as long as as long as uh, we're walking in the spirit, we're fulfilling the law, we're establishing the law. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go back to Luke. This is Luke chapter five, verse thirty-five. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them. And then shall they fast in those days. Right. And so now, <laughs> so now it's time to fast, man. But these guys, I mean, they don't want us to, they don't want us to have a little bit of, you know, pleasure while Yahweh Shah was, was on the earth. You know, at least we could see him and, you know, talk to him and, and, and converse with him. Right. But they didn't even want, you know, they wanted us to be just completely, you know, they wanted those disciples just to be completely miserable, man. Because ultimately they 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 envied the faith that they uh that, that the disciples had in Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Go ahead, Ak. Verse 36. And he spake a par a slocking, also a parable unto them. No man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old. Right. So this new this new uh uh, uh doctrine that we have. OK, and it's really not a new it's really not a new doctrine, this new way of life that we're coming into because the doctrine is, is always been the same. All right. According to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that word that uh, that word that Yahweh passed on to Yahweh Shai has 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 been there, you know, since the beginning. 
but it's just being passed on down to us because we, before this truth, we were walking in darkness, pursuing to Ephesians, uh, the second chapter, you know, we we're walking in darkness before we had the truth. But now that we've come into the light, you see, we have that understanding. And so we're not supposed to uh, mix, mix anything that we had in the world going on in the world, like any ideologies. OK, say you were a Muslim and you try to come into the truth and still, you know, trying to dabble into wherever. The, what, I don't know what they call the, uh, the, 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 the temple over there. You know, I forget what they call the mosque. You know, you try to go into the mosque and still, you know, go out and listen. You're going <laughs> to get bugged out, man. You're not going to be able to get it because you can't. Uh, uh, what's that? in? I think that was in, I think that's in Isaiah. Matter of fact, I got it here in my notes. Um, I wrote it down yesterday. You can't mix you can't mix this truth with anything else. I think that's in Isaiah, um, the thirty fourth chapter. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll grab it for you all. It's you in know, a, if you want me to. Yeah, if you if you if you know which one I'm talking about, basically saying none shall want her mate. You know, I know I had it written down, but I can I, I can blue letter it. Let me see. Yeah, I got it off. Okay, go ahead and call it and read it, Bible for sure. Come. All right. This is Isaiah 34, verse 16. Yeah, that's Seek it right there. Ye out of, come on, come on. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one slot him. No one of these shall want, shall fail. None shall want her mate. None shall want her mate. Okay. You cannot mix and mingle this truth with these other uh with other philosophies that you that you may have in your mind. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that first Corinthians, man. Get that first Corinthians uh uh chapter what is that, chapter four? I mean chapter two, I'm sorry. Don't let me confuse you, brother. <laughs> first Corinthians two and twelve. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that one because you can't you can't mix it, man. You can't mix it up. Kind of. This is First Corinthians chapter two. Oh, you know what? Verse no, no, no. That's not. That's not the one. I want. Uh, I want the Second Corinthians. <laughs> Salaki, bro. Kind of. Yeah, I want that second. Kind of. That's the one I was want. I was trying to get. Salaki, brother. Yeah, I Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. This is First Corinthians chapter chapter six. Second Corinthians. I mean, slot it, slot it. Second Corinthians, chapter six, verse sixteen. And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? Right, right, right. For ye so are these idols of 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 your past life, man, <laughs> you gotta put them bad boys away and 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 uh, uh cast it away like a mistress. Matter of fact, let me see. There's a precept to that. A, a mistress, a mistress cloth, man. You gotta cast this, uh, this, uh, these that old man away like a mistress cloth. Let's see if I can spell it right. I know I didn't spell it right. Hold on. M e n s t r o u s. Yeah, I'm trying to let this. Uh, M e n s t r Oh, okay. Oh, you is. Yeah, I put an E Got in there. It. My bad. <laughs> it's still mistress. Why won't it let me get it? Menstrual. Hold on. That's not how you spell it. Menstrual. S T R A. R U A L. R U. Okay. Con A L. Menstrual. I know it's okay. That's probably let's see. Let me just see here. Quote the scripture again, Bible Kasha. Like the phrase. Yeah, it's like a it's like a menstruous a menstruous cloth. You know. Let me see if I can uh -huh. spell it right. This shit here. I'm gonna spell check it. All right. Yeah, the spell the spell check isn't trying to help me out. <laughs> All right, try Isaiah thirty, slot him. 
try Isaiah 30 and 22. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, okay, Khan, we found it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that bubble for shot. The water. I thought about what? All right. This is Isaiah 30 and 22. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy dyed graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, get the hint. Right. So there you have it, man. We're going to we're supposed to say uh, unto the unto these idols, man, get 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 away from me. You know, we're supposed to cast off these old these old idols, man. And, and it's not it doesn't necessarily have to be a graven images because the scriptures speak about uh, having uh, graven images in, in your hearts, idols in your hearts. OK. So it could be you coveting uh, 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 something that 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 another man has, okay? Or you worshiping yourself, all right? You know, it could be a number a number of things that we have to cast off in order uh, to be born again through the Spirit, all right? And that's the point. And so let's go back to Second Corinthians chapter six, Baba Kusha, and finish uh, finish that. All right. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. And what agreement hath the temple of Yahweh with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power. Right. And so As, that temple, that temple, Salaki, brother, that temple is consecrated, huh. it's holy, separate. You don't see the, you, you're not going to, you're not, uh, you know, back in Jerusalem, the, the temple wasn't like a, just in the middle of a bunch of uh, apartment complexes, man. You know, or about out in the middle of the wilderness. It, it well, it was out in the middle of the wilderness during the time that Israel was in the midst of the wilderness. But that temple that was set up, man, that was in the holy city of Jerusalem. So guess what? It was, it was, it was sanctified, man. All right. Go ahead. Come as Yahweh hath said, I will dwell in them. And walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Right, exactly. So we're supposed to be clean, washed, transformed. All right. Lord willing, we're gonna get that in Romans 12. But let's jump back to uh, uh, the book of uh, Isaiah. I mean, uh, where are we reading that? Uh, Luke. Luke. Yeah. Let's go back to Luke. This is Luke 5 and 36. And he spake a, also a parable unto them. No man putteth a piece of a new garment upon an old. If otherwise, then both the new maketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreeeth not with the old. Right. So you can't mix uh, carnal things with spiritual things, man. You can't serve uh, 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 the Most High and Mammon. Not, matter of fact, if you go, if you read up in that Second Corinthians, chapter six, it says in verse fourteen, "Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers." All right, that could also cause you to uh, fall out the truth because if you if you being unequally yoked with unbelievers, you, you know you you basically uh, uh, living and and entertaining and and uh, and uh, and uh, basically just just. Just giving your energy and sharing your energy with people who aren't in the truth, which can cause you to fall out because, they, you know, they might say, hey, man, why, why are you still going out there, man? Why are you still doing that? You know, and if uh, you if you weaken the truth, I'm mean, sorry, if you weaken the faith, OK, or new to the faith or whatever, then you could easily be uprooted because you don't have any uh, 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 for a man who doesn't have any root within himself can easily be uprooted. OK. That's why it says, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? The answer is none. OK. It's not all, it's not always it's not always time to go out with your uh, 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 family, you know, every every Christmas and every, you know, whatever uh, Thanksgiving and Easter and all that. It's not always time to uh, catch catch every uh, birthday, 
you know, party that your that your that your mom has, and you know, the weddings and all that. I mean, you know, you know, if it's if 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 it's if it's something that uh that's on your spirit to do, you know, and it's not and it's not going off, then that's not going off. But you're not supposed to be, you know. Just totally, you know, going every. <laughs> I mean, not not saying that you know brothers not gonna go to you know see their families as on certain occasions, but you know, just being attached to them because the scriptures say, uh, the scriptures say, uh, whosoever forsaketh not uh, uh, the mother and uh, and brethren, okay, and their father and, and 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 wife and children and all that stuff is basically uh, not worthy of 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 Yahweh Shai, man, okay. And so we're not really supposed to have any fellowship with unrighteousness if we're if we are in this truth where we, you know, we don't have any we don't have any need to go back to the filthiness that we left. All right. It says, and what communion hath light with darkness? You know, none, man. All right. When when Satan uh, was coming up to Yahweh Shai to uh, uh, try to try to get him to uh, go off, he, he was just rebuking him the whole time. He was saying, hey, hey, how you doing, Satan? How you been, man? You know, uh, he was he was how I was rebuking just cutting them with scriptures, you know. We're not supposed to have any any fellowship with darkness, okay? All right, so let's go back to Luke. Con. If otherwise, then both the new make it a or salakia salakia. This is Luke chapter five verse thirty seven. And no man put it put it new wine into old bottles right so that wine represents what that wine represents this knowledge man okay wine the new wine represents the knowledge wisdom and understanding when you first come into the truth it's new to you and your your that bottle is your vessel your spiritual your spiritual temple your mind okay is holding that knowledge and so if you're a old worn out you know uh worldly carnal nigga you're not going to be able to accept this truth because you're, you've invested all your time, uh, you know, 15, 20, 35, 40 years being a Christian or being a, 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 a nigga or being whatever, a thug, right? Which is why the scriptures say we have to be reborn. Let's get that in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Bible for shot. And I, this is... This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I say then, hath Yahweh cast away... No, Romans 12 and 1. Oh, Salakia, Salakia. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye pre present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. Okay. The only reason, I'm sorry, the only way that we can present our bodies as a living sacrifice is if we, first, we have to have the spirit. We have to have the spirit. We have to believe in the knowledge that we receive so that our, our vessels can maintain that wine. Okay. <laughs> that knowledge of this truth is, is, is sweet. When you first get it, but then it's it then it turns bitter, man. Okay, it turns bitter after you hold it for a, you know for a long time, but it becomes more it becomes more precious because as you grow in the truth, you begin to experience more things. You can expound on it and teach more fluently. Okay, but if you are already uh, an old bottle, then you won't be able to hold the uh, the the knowledge, man. You won't be able to grow in the truth because the truth requires growth okay that's why you know uh, uh it's not it's not a hard thing to uh to receive the truth initially the harder part is to keep it you see go ahead Ock. Con, Ock. verse two and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay, transformed. Let's get that. Let's get that word transformed in the Greek. All right. Get that word transformed. First of all, I say be not conformed. Let's get that word conformed first. Okay. Uh oh, let's go back. Let's see. And be not conformed. 
All right. That's a long word, so I'm going to let Esau say it. Strong's G, 4964. Sus gematizo. Sus gematizo. Okay, sus gematizo, meaning conformed. And what does that say? Conform to, fashion oneself according to. Um, the outline of biblical usage says to conform oneself, one's mind and character, to another's pattern. Okay, the pattern is the pattern and the fashion according to this world. You see, they have a, a, a carnal mentality, a carnal view on how the world works, on how on, on the way that things are supposed to be. Okay, it's, 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 it's set up, excuse me, basically set up to worship Esau. Okay, to worship, to worship idols, to worship the things that Esau has set up. Which is which is which is why we have to be reborn, which is why we have to be transformed. Okay, so let's get that word transform in the Greek. All right, transform. I'm gonna try to say this one. Meta metamorpho. Metamorpho. Okay, Strong's G thirty three thirty nine. Metamorpho, and uh, it says transfigure. Transform, change, to change into another form, to transform, okay, to transfigure, all right, let's see, metamorph, like a, like a, uh, like a caterpillar to a butterfly, man, that metamorphosis is, is, is essential, metamorpho, probably meaning like change form, let me see, meta, uh, afterward, Okay, and then morpho, morpho, after form, okay, our afterward form, <laughs> our second form, man, we evolve in it, and it's true because it's like living waters, like the Apostle mm -hmm. Gabar says, man, okay, um, that's basically what it is, we're, 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 we're morphing, man, okay, into, into the men, uh, uh, into the 144,000 elect, man, you know, <laughs> so this is what is required, and see, uh, an old wine is already used in like an old rubber band, you know, as soon as you try to stretch it, it snaps, but a brand new one has got plenty of elasticity, you can, you know, shoot, shoot it, you know, make it for a, a slingshot, tie up uh, things with it, and when you, when you take it up, when you take it back, it goes back to its original form, it's, 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 it's uh, uh, elastic, man. Elasticity is, you know, it's high. It can stretch. And that's what the uh, uh, the new wineskins, uh, le like, let's just get an example of a wineskin. Okay. A wineskin. Get a, get a physical image. Okay. Right. So old and the new wineskin. Okay. Oh, here we go. What is the new and old wineskin? Wineskin, what's the, what's the difference? It says made from cleaned animal hides. Um, in animal hides, um, often goat hides. Wineskins were used for carrying wine offerings, for travel, and for storing new wine. As the wine inside continued to ferment, the skin would stretch to the point of losing its elasticity. Okay, so these guys, these guys, uh, uh, minds, man, there's already, it's already used and abused. All right, but that's why the, the scriptures say in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, seek the, uh, the most high while uh, your days are, uh, basically while you're young. Okay, because uh, mm -hmm. before the days come where, where, uh, where basically you say, you know, my days are dark and I have no pleasure in them. Because that's when you still are able to be, uh, uh, worked on man the most high can still work on you when you're not bugged out <laughs> because once you get to a certain age in this world man it's so wicked you just get used to being around demons all day you just become one you know mm. you become a demon and you become like you know like one of these regular guys driving down the street man <laughs> you know just bugged out man these people bro 99 percent of people on the planet are bugged out man okay and that's just because the most high had it that way this world is given over to the end of the wicked so it's going to be demons running around all the place, man, especially during this time. All right. And this year, 2018, through the spirit of the year of prophecy, man, it's going to be nothing but uh, 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 
it's going to be a lot more destruction, a lot more disappointing uh, letdowns to these people who uh, are all about mirth and are all about celebrating all the damn time, man. Okay? Mm. Because their their mind is full of Christmas. Their wine skin is full of full of bullshit, man. The stuff of this world that just causes you to become a, a complete demon. Okay? But the most high is purifying us while our while our wine skins are still new. Alright? And so it says, um, let's see. For traveling and for storing new wine, as the wine continued to ferment, the skin would stretch to the point of losing its elasticity. If new wine was stored in an old wine skin, the skin would often burst from the pressure. Okay? And so it looks like, let's see. Um, okay. Grapes plus fermentation equals wine. Skins of grapes already have yeast growing on them. As grapes are crushed, juice begins fermenting spontaneously. Yeast turns the natural sugars into grapes and alcohol. Um, let's see. Ferment, oh, alcohol. Uh, yeast turns the natural sugars in the grape juice into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So that carbon dioxide caused the, caused the bag, you know, the skin to expand because it was airtight. It says fermentation process often continues after the wine has been stored in the wine skin the release of the carbon dioxide causes uh the wine skins to expand exactly and so that that uh that wine skin being uh matured is gonna is gonna cause that cause that uh that uh that uh i'm sorry the wine the wine maturing and aging is gonna cause the wine skin to expand because of that air the uh carbon what does it say carbon Carbon dioxide that is letting out. Yeah. Yeah. So and it, okay. Yeah. Con. So that that's just a visual aid for you know for brothers to see you know what this wine skin thing is all about. And so you can see if a if a wine skin is old and ragged and can't expand, it's not going to be able to hold um, the wine after you know after it after a certain period of time. Like initially it can hold it, but after a certain period of time it won't be able to. Okay, it'll bust because it's old. All right. So let's go back um, to uh, Luke. Let's see. Well, we got we basically read verse fifty, um, verse thirty-seven. So let's go ahead and get um, let's go ahead and get that in First Corinthians now. You know what? What did I have? What did I have after Luke? Salakia. I know I had him in an order. Second Corinthians six and sixteen. Okay, and then after that, John six and fifty three through sixty. Leah, let's get that one. Con. Yeah, man, because uh, once you once you become once you become transformed, man, once you become baptized. It's a whole nother life, man. You know what? Let's get um let's get John chapter three. Before we get John chapter six, let's get John chapter three. Okay. Uh, Where it talks about uh being uh being born again. All right. Uh verse um three. Well, shoot, you can get uh, you can get you can get the uh the, the start from start from the start from uh the top Bible Kusha. This is John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh. Salakia, the most high. No, that's no right. Man. That's right. Yahweh, you could say Yahweh. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except Yahweh be with him. Right. And the Most High was with Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the Pharisees, the wicked Pharisees and Sadducees couldn't understand uh, why, you know, well, they were really jealous, you know, uh, because they saw that his that his that his uh, upbringing wasn't uh, was was a lot more humble um, than 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 theirs, right? Their their uh, uh, love, well, their pride was in 
the fact that they were a Pharisee, you know, that was like a higher, a higher up um, occupation at that time. The priests and the scribes uh, had had the highest uh, occupation in, in Jerusalem as far as uh, that system, that system that was set up, you know, set up in Jerusalem. They had the highest, you know, form of respect. All right. Um, and the most money. OK, um, go ahead, brother. Verse three, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, so except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High, man. And that's that's one thing that, you know, uh, the Christians, they, they get it wrong because they, they talk about you being uh, baptized physically in water uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, man. That's not going to give you the understanding of these books, man. OK, you have to have that unction, that anointing to actually when you read the scriptures and you get the breakdown to be able to apply it. The application of that of that knowledge is 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 wisdom, man. Whenever you whenever you read a prophecy, OK, we know that the mark of the beast is the microchip because we understand spiritually. We've been born again to see that this uh, uh, that that word karagma is talking about a specific uh, incision. OK, and uh, based off of uh, 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 the, the system that Esau has set up here, we know in a short time he's going to make the, the mark of the beast uh, mandatory. OK. It can't really. It can't. I mean, it's, it's 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 straight into the point. We know that we're in a time of, of, of prophecy right now because we're seeing wars and rumors of wars, uh, uh, earthquakes in diverse manners. We had a, a, a super moon on on the Sabbath on on so-called New Year's Eve. You know, it's the coldest uh, time right now. It's well below. It's colder than normal right now. You know, normally it's you know uh, ten degrees warmer than it is right now. Everywhere in the United States is basically. Uh, uh, under 32 degrees, man. You see, and you know it, it, it caused a lot of it caused a lot of uh, 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 chaos, man. It caused a lot of chaos last night. You know, certain people weren't able to uh, go see their 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 ball drop for 2018. It wasn't as as much partying and mirth going on here, okay? Because people know that this this place has but a short time, okay? A very short time, man. So let's uh let's go back. And can you read that uh, again, Baba Kusha? Khan, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Right, and since he was, and since Nicodemus was carnal, man, he didn't really understand what Yahweh Shai was talking about. Which just proves that they, you know, that they weren't really being spiritual. You have to be spiritual. And that's one thing that Yahweh Shai taught us, if it was anything, that we have to be spiritual, man. Okay? Spiritual is, the, is, is really the key. A faith, you know, the spirit, uh, 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 humility, okay? Charity. Those are the, those are the teachings of, 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 Really, this is that's how we're supposed to be like the law is is set up for us to follow. But within that, it, it, it teaches you to become those things, to become faithful, to become uh, uh, a charitable man, loving towards your uh, your uh, uh, your your neighbor, man. OK, your Israelite kin kinsman. OK. Go ahead, brother. Verse four, Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born? When he is old, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Right. How was I answered? Right. So yeah, that like that's the example right there. We, <laughs> you know, he's be, he's being simple, man. You know, he was being very that was, a, you know, that was that was not that's not at all what he was talking about, which just shows, you know, the, the natural man uh, does not receive. Matter of fact, now it's time to get it. Let's get Second Corinthians. <laughs> Second Corinthians. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and read it right quick. It says, Second um, Corinthians chapter three. Uh, I'm sorry, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse thirteen. It says, 
uh, I'm going to just read verse 14. It says, But the natural man receiveth not the, the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Okay? They're spiritually discerned. So a, a, a carnal man, that's what that word natural, okay? A natural man, the average average uh, Joe Blow, okay? It says, uh, Suhios. Suhios. Uh, I'm sorry, Suhikos, which means um, natural or sensual, uh, of or belonging to breath, having the nature and characteristics of the breath, um, governed by breath, the sensuous nature, which with its subjection to appetite and passion, okay? Uh, the, pin the principle of animal life, which men have in common with brutes, basically the carnal, the carnal aspect of it, right? The carnal, the carnal man, the natural man, the basic uh, 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 sensual, natural, uh, uh, understanding of man cannot conceive that new wine, okay? And they can, they, they definitely can't hold the new wine. But if you if you if you if if you can if you can at least hear it, you have to be able to hold it. You see, if you can receive it, you got to be able to keep it as well, okay? It says, uh, it says, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. OK. And so we have to be ready to to uh, 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 make decisions in the spirit. OK. And not be uh, uh, carnal and, and rely on our on our natural instincts. OK. That's why it says in verse 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man because a carnal man, a natural man doesn't have the capacity to, to judge or to even think on the level of a spiritual man. OK, a man who has the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yahshua is going to judge because he can see past uh, uh, the, the things of the flesh. You see. You see, it says, who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him. Now, how is a How is a carnal man going to be able to uh, to tell the most high what to do? All right. It says, but we have the mind of Hamashiach. And so the saints are gonna are gonna uh, judge the world, man, because we are spiritual. You see, so that only God can judge me, spirit man, is is a demon, because a spiritual man is gonna is gonna be set up to judge. Okay, now we don't set ourselves up, but the Most High is gonna set up His men, okay, to judge the earth, man. All right. So uh, let's go back to uh, excuse me, what we were reading. Time. This is John chapter 3, verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Right. So if you're a carnal man and you never get <laughs> baptized in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, you're just going to be a carnal man your whole life. And you're not going to have any hope unto salvation. Because every, every man who, who doesn't who isn't baptized in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai with Harakhah Kodash, man? They really don't stand a chance in that day of judgment. Okay? You can read uh, uh, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, and, and, and see uh, uh, that, that the Most High, man, he's not going to have he's not gonna have any mercy uh, on, on those who uh, don't have that seal, man, of, 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 of mercy on them. All right? Because when we have that, when we have that, uh, that uh, the blood of the lamb on our spiritual doorpost, our mind, then we are protected, okay? But if we don't have that, if we don't have that uh, uh, that blood, okay, that spiritual, that spiritual uh, uh, blood, okay, if we don't have that to uh, to cover us, man, then we we get, we got to shed our own blood. The most high, you know, the two thirds are gonna be are gonna be a uh, 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 sacrifice for their for their transgressions, man. And their blood is going to be spilled, and it's going to be righteous, because they didn't want to have they want they didn't want to take that way out. All right. When it comes down to it, man, the Most High is pissed off. Basically, he's pissed off at the entire world. Okay. And so, if you have the entire world about to be destroyed, 
Okay, not every not every aspect of the world, but when we're talking about the inhabitants of the earth are going to be destroyed, man. That's everything in America is going to be decimated, obliterated, cremated. Everything here is going to be destroyed. So we know that if the Most High doesn't have mercy on us, we're going to be destroyed with it. You see? And so that's why we have to have that spiritual protection. Okay? Let's get John chapter 6, Bible Kushan. Come. Started this is uh, John chapter six. Yeah, started verse. What is that? Fifty three. Come. Go ahead. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. Ye have no life in you. Right. Now, they thought they were, he was talking about cannibalism. Okay. When you read up, he's talking about the bread of life. Okay. He he said in verse uh, 48, I am that bread of life right there. Yahweh Shai is the bread of life. Okay. Mm. It says in the previous verse, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Okay. So it's not talking about physically eating. Okay. It's not talking about eating, you know, eating and drinking Yahushai and all that. No, man. It's talking about accepting Yahweh uh, uh, Yahushai and believing that he can uh, perform the things that he promised, man. Okay? That's why it says, he that believeth on me. Okay? Because we have to believe no matter what circumstance that we, uh, uh, that we uh, find ourselves in. That, that the Most High is able to deliver us from diverse temptations, man. No matter what it be. Okay? Because ultimately we understand that the Most High is in control of this uh, uh, of this uh, situation. He's in control of this entire movie. Okay? This entire program is run by him. Alright? Go ahead and uh, continue, brother. Come on. Uh, 54. Come on. The water. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Right. And so when they received this, it, they didn't have, they didn't have, matter of fact, let's get Hebrews 4 and 2 really quick, Baba Kusha. Because they heard, they heard the word, they heard it there with their own ears. But we're going to see the uh, the reaction of them very shortly. Okay? But first I want to get Hebrews 4 and 2. Go ahead, brother. Whenever you got it. This is Hebrews 4 and 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto thee. Them. But the... Or slot you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. Come, come. As unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Right. So the word that was preached did not profit the uh, uh, the unbelievers because they didn't believe. OK, we can preach to you all day. That's why the scriptures say we have piped unto you and you have not danced. We have mourned, but you have not lamented because of everything that, that we uh, say to them. It goes in into one ear and out the other, man. We're talking about our people, the two thirds, two thirds of our people, anyway. Uh, the wicked, the wicked uh, majority of our people don't have the spiritual eyes nor the uh, uh, the spiritual ears to hear what we're saying to them. Which is, look, man, the world is about to be destroyed, and we're actually physic. We're actually literally telling them that we're not really speaking in parables. We're actually telling them the world is about to be destroyed. You see, and they have a problem with that because they're so comfortable in this society. That treats them like crap. Talking about our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're they they just it's just ingrained in them because they're of that they're of the flesh. They're natural. They're carnal. They have that old wine skin. We try to put the new wine in there, it'll bust. They can't hold. They can't take it. You see, their 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 age has already uh, uh basically prevented them from being uh, able to be baptized in the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You see. Go ahead, brother. Go. Let's go back to uh. Let's go back to uh. John. Come. Okay. 
This is John chapter uh, 6, uh, starting, I'm going to read verse 50, or slot here, starting at verse 55. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Right, spiritual food, okay? Spiritual food. Matter of fact, if you go to uh, Romans, I'm sorry, not Romans, John in the fourth chapter, um, Yahweh said that he has meat that uh, ye know not of. Yeah. John chapter 4 and 32. Okay. Um, let me start at, uh, let's see. Okay. John 4 and 31, it says, In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. Okay. They wanted him to, you know, his disciples were trying to give him some food. And verse 32 says, But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Okay, so what is that talking about? What is that? Is that talking about a, 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 a dish that he had hidden under his garment? <laughs> you know, a secret uh, 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 air sandwich. Okay, let's get that word. Let's look, let's get that word meat, man. All right. Bros, bros, brosis, brosis. Okay, uh, meat, uh, rust, morsel of meat, act of eating in a wider sense, corrosion. That which is eaten, um, let's see, of the soul's food, here it is, of the soul's food, either which refreshes the soul or nourishes and supports it. Okay, so that's it right there. Yahweh is the soul food. That's the, he's the real soul food. Matter of fact, that might be what the, what the, <laughs> what, the what we call the lesson. Yahweh is the real, uh, is the real soul food. Okay, because he refreshes our souls, man. He gives us he gives us rest when we are weary. We we what do we do? We pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to uh, uh, take demons off of us, to give us faith, to give us strength. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Baba Kusha, Nathan La Yah, I'm a one. Okay, faith, Baba Kusha, give us give give me faith. Okay, because this I mean this <laughs> this, this world, man, it can drain you out. OK, and so Yahweh Shai, when we think upon uh, that promise that is going to uh, that we're going to receive through him, it refreshes our soul. It nourishes and supports our soul. OK, that's what it does. OK, and so that's what he was talking about here. But our people are so freaking niggerishly carnal, man. They can't get they can't get anything with a drop of spirituality in it. Let's go back to John uh, six. Bob Kusha. Shah. Oh, no. This is John chapter 6, verse 56. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Right. So if you if you uh, maintain faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, then you uh, are going to dwell in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, uh, which is the Holy Spirit. Okay. And... He's going to uh, abide in you. You're going to dwell in him and he's going to dwell in you. We're going to we're spiritually connected to the Lord because we, we 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 we've been baptized unto him. Basically, we've been washed from our old uh, uh, filthy ways. OK, and come into uh, his 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 good graces. Those of us who are of the elect. OK, because the most high is going to save uh, 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 the hundred forty four thousand of his men. OK, and the rest of the one third because they 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 didn't. Uh, uh, bow down their knees to Baal. At least they had some kind of reverence toward the Most High. But two thirds, man, they don't want to have nothing to do with the Most High, man. They don't want to have nothing to do with salvation. Nothing to do with Esau going down. You know, they just want to stay in America and and go to Super Bowl uh, uh, 144, man. You know, they they just have it to just where you know they got flying cars. You know, I mean, there's, I mean, there's really nothing else to look forward to, man. People can tell that these nations are got, about to go to war. They know it's time up, man. It's time up, man. Lord willing, 2018 is it, man? Because this, I mean, people know that it's time. To, it's time. It's time. It's time up. You know, your your children are finding out that Santa Claus uh, is fake, hella early. You know what I'm saying? They're going up on YouTube. Oh, is Santa Claus real? They find out like, video videos of uh, Roman Saturnalia. Okay. Mm. The, the, the Christian uh, church is being exposed and debunked, okay? 
And meanwhile, the men of the Lord are sitting here telling you, look, the, the gates of repentance are open. All right. But two thirds of our niggardly uh, heathenistic people are not going to repent, man. OK, mm -hmm. that's why your house. I was cursing them uh, uh, wicked Pharisees and Sadducees out because they were leading the people astray. OK, but the scriptures say that the deceived and the deceiver are his talking about the uh, uh, the most high. They, they're in the, the palm of the most high, man. And he's going to crush you, man. He's going to crush him and burn him up. OK, and set up righteousness. That's what we hope for, man. OK, because right now the earth being ruled by the so-called white man is in the worst case scenario you, we could ask for, man. We'd rather have a, a, a freaking banana rule the world than this damn devil, man. OK, he's destroying the earth. OK, and people are and they're just stuck. They're just stuck in that freaking stale mentality, man. They're just dead. They don't have no hope. You know, I mean, their biggest dream is to own a house, you know, or move out of the country or. I mean, it's like there's no what 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 are you trying to achieve? There's too many people here. Everybody's in everybody's way. You can't even get to the damn airport without freaking almost getting hit, uh, rear-ended, man. This place is finished, man. Let's go ahead, brother. That's right. This is John chapter six, verse fifty-seven. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the father so he that eateth me even he shall live by me right so us that have the uh the knowledge wisdom and understanding that yahweh is going to destroy this bs kingdom that uh, uh this, this devil has set up we're gonna live the way that yahweh shai lived man because he hated this place more than we do okay mm. sometimes it's hard to imagine but he you know he he is of he is from above, man. He can't he couldn't stand being in the flesh, but he knew that prophecy must must uh needs be fulfilled. Okay, so he had to endure while he was here. So same thing with us, man. Okay, we have to go through it too. And guess what, man? The reward is, that's on the other side is way beyond. Matter of fact, uh, Second Corinthians chapter four and uh and two. I'm sorry, four and seventeen. Second Corinthians four and seventeen. Baba Kusha. Let me see. Or I can get it if you let me. I'm gonna just get it right quick, okay? No, no. Uh, let's see. All right, this is a uh, Second uh, Corinthians four and thirteen. We have the same spirit of faith, according as it is at is as it is written. I believed and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, and that's why we're teaching this word, man, with such a uh, 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 power, okay? With such, with such, uh, uh, excuse me, fervent, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 passion, man. We're teaching this word with fervent passion, okay? Because we know that what we're saying is true. And we know the more that we push it out, man, the more Esau is going to be freaking condemned, man. We're pushing out that vibration like, you're the devil, you're the devil, you're the devil. And it's like weighing in on his conscience like, damn, shut up, shut up, man. People gonna find out, you know. All right, verse fourteen it says, "Knowing that we, knowing that He which raised up the Lord Yahweh Shai shall raise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you." Okay, and the Most High uh, raised up uh, His Son, man Yahweh Shai. Okay, and Yahweh Shai is gonna uh, raise us up, Lord willing, we those men. Okay. It says, for all things are for your sakes, for the sake of the elect. Okay? This your isn't talking about the whole damn world, man. Okay? It's not talking about all things are for every man, but everybody's sakes. That the abundance, no, man. It's talking about the elect. All right? That's who the that's who these uh uh, uh these letters are written to. The elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? Because all that's required for Yahweh Shah to come back and destroy this boo-boo hole. OK, this this septic tank, this cesspool is what the elect to be sealed. And that's it, man. Then it's bye bye to everything else that uh, that's not uh, protected by the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, man. OK, it says for all things are for your sakes that the abundant grace might through that thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of the most high. For which cause we faint not. 
but through but though our outward man perish yet we yet the inward man is renewed day by day so that wine is constantly fermenting in our mind and though we're getting older and wax i mean you know we got brothers as young okay but look at the apostles there are excellent examples the apostles of the great millstone have been in the truth 25 30 plus years man longer than some brother me personally myself i've been alive <laughs> you know and so their 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 spirit is being renewed day by day okay because they have that faith that's the driving force man and that's ultimately the thing that's going to get us out of here and never and and, and and those men that uh uh, uh finish the race okay that fight the good fight of faith they're going to be rewarded man okay Yahweh Shah said it. He said, I'm the bread of life. Okay? And uh uh matter of fact, let me go, let me go back so I don't misquote it. Um and yeah, verse 47 it says, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Has, that's present tense. Okay? He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So we basically in the spirit, we already have it. Okay, we just haven't finished it yet. Okay? Because ultimately, if you don't believe, it's gonna show. Okay, the most high knows who believes and who doesn't, man. All right. So going back to 2 Corinthians uh 4 and 17, it says, For our light affliction, our light, light affliction. Let's get that word light in the Greek. Let's get that word light. Okay. Elaporos. No, I'm sorry. Elaf Elafros. Elafros. Okay. Um, uh, light and weight, quick or agile, um, easy, our easy affliction. This is level easy. You know, when you play a video game, you got hard, you got hard, medium, and you got easy and you can, you know, you might not know how to play the game, but you can, at least you can beat it cause it's on easy. Well, this is on easy. This affliction that we're having, believe it or not, is easy. Okay. Um. All right, it's 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 easy now. Don't get me wrong; it might seem all oh, this hard, but look, it's not. It's 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 but for a moment, man. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be a little breath, okay? Think kingdom, man. Think big. Think don't think don't think don't think like a little little a, a little speck of dust, man. Think universe, man. You see, right now we we we're such a, we're in such a low state. <laughs> it's hard to think big, you know. We can't, you know, we can't even think outside our own city sometimes. Man, the world is vast beyond our beyond our, our, our point of view. Okay, so we're supposed to think big, think the kingdom, man. Okay, we're supposed to be kingdom minded, not apartment. You know, we're not supposed to have that apartment mentality, like the uh, Elder Ariella says. Okay, so it says for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, temporary. Okay, worketh for us. Here we go. A far more exceeding and eternal, exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So the easy, the easy uh, 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 affliction that we're going through, man, is is in turn is going to yield a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, man. Okay, that reward that we're going to receive is going to be way more worth. The investment that we had to, and really our investment, our life is just like a little breath. The, hey, the scriptures say a day in the Lord is like a thousand years, man. So say we live to be a hundred. How about Shimei Shah forbid? Say we live to be a hundred, man. That's that's like what? 24 minutes? Or a tenth of a day? You know? Two hours? Whatever? Right? Two and a half hours? So the most high, <laughs> our life is like, it's nothing, man. Our lives is nothing, man. The Most High is sh showing us that this little tiny period of time really isn't a long period of time at all. Especially seeing how quick these years, and I'm not talking about days, these years, bro, 2017 went like that, man. It went like that. It was just here, it's just like yesterday, like 2017, now it's gone. 2018. We're here, 2018, right now. Hmm. You see? You can't be an old wineskin, man. Just thinking that everything is going to be the same forever. You got to be able to adapt, man. Okay? So let's, uh, I know I've kind of been all over the place, Oxalakia. Let's go back to, uh, 
John chapter 6. All right. This is John chapter 6, verse 58. This is that bread um, which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. You see that? So it says, so it's not, 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 as, the, not as the physical manna that your fathers ate, you simpletons, you, you simple, simple, silly Israelites. Okay? This is talking about spiritual, spiritual food. Go ahead, Ock. <clears throat> he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Man, I got to get that word eat, man, in the Greek. I got to get that word eateth, man. Where is it? Okay. Uh, Strong's G5176. Trogo. Okay. Um, it says uh, to gnaw, crunch. Let's see. Animals feeding, eat it to eat. Let's see. Uh, is it going to have it? Shoot. Let's see. To, let's see. Universally to eat, uh, to mess together. Um, shoot. Basically, joining, okay, figuratively, figuratively the flesh of Hamashia. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really go into it that much. But, uh, you know, basically uh, joining yourself unto the Lord, man, is 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 that eating of that of that spiritual bread. OK. When you when you when you accept the most high into you, when you eat something, man, what does it do? It goes into you. When you drink something, it goes into your body. Now, this is talking about your spiritual temple, your mind. OK. When you house shot, <clears throat> when you eat the bread and, and drink the uh, uh, uh Eat the uh, and drink the uh, uh, the blood of Yahushai. He's entering into you, man. We're not drinking. We're not drinking blood, man. We're not eating physical bread and meat and and, and body parts, man. It's a spiritual baptism. We let the spirit of Yahweh Yahushai work on our minds, man. That's what this is talking about. And so the point. I know it took a while to get to it, but if you read verse sixty, it shows you how carnal they are. Go ahead, brother. Come. Verse 59, these things said he in the synagogue. No, verse, he, verse, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Silaki. I thought you skipped the verse. Go ahead, brother. Kind of. As he taught in Capernaum, many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is in hard saying, who can hear it. Right. So they, you know, the disciples, those who who were following you, how was I was saying, oh, this man, how can you even, how could you, how could you hear something like this? This is, this is, did you, did you hear what he said? He said, you got to eat them. They were carnal, man. They were so carnal. Like you can, like none of them considered that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? None of them considered that maybe he's not talking about eating like, you know what I'm saying? They just took everything just, I mean, bro, you got to be spiritual, man. And not everything is just cut and dry, black and white. You have to be able to, now, now, now there's good and evil. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. There's there's the proper judgment. There's righteousness and wickedness. But you have to be able to discern. You got different different uh, uh, situations that require you to be spiritual, man. Okay? You have different situations that, that require you to make decisions that aren't just linear okay you have to think in depth all right and if i can say something uh that's that's childish you know why would he say that right the disciples the disciples were saying that because they were carnal <laughs> we read it in first and uh uh you know what I'm why would yahweh shy say this? right 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 you know well, see, I mean, he said that ultimately. He said it like that to to at, for a stumbling block, because we know that the scriptures say that Yahusha was that stumbling block, you know. God, and what I'm saying is like, why would he say, you know, to actually, right. you know, eat, you know? Right, exactly. I know. I see what you're saying, brother. And I mean, <laughs> he uh, that's that shows how carnal they they were thinking. They were thinking very carnally, you know. But the the point is, they don't they. 
you can't you can't you can't be an old wineskin man thinking that you're gonna get that you're gonna be able to be saved by Jesus man okay don't expect that don't expect him to uh come come and uh and save you if you if you're still being a if you're still worshiping if you're still worshiping uh uh uh, see, uh, I'm sorry. Let me put it correctly. If you're still worshiping Serapis Christus, let me let me show you a picture of him. Okay. Serapis Christus. Look, see, I didn't even have to type in. People already know what's going on, man. This guy, man. This guy here. You see that? I didn't even have to type in Jesus. You see? This image here is a false god. All right. It's a false god right here. You see that? Look <laughs> at this freaking demon, man. You got you guys want you guys want Serapis Serapis Christus to save you, man. Because you've been taught by the so the so-called white man. You mm -hmm. know? Let's see what this says. Man. It says the Emperor Hadrian wrote, those who worship Serapis are Christians. And those who call themselves bishops of Christ are vowed to Serapis. Okay, mm. Serapis Crispus, Christus, as early as 200 BC, were the people worshippers of Serapis that call themselves Christians, and that's where this, you know, this this crap comes from, man. Okay, and so you know, Caesar Bolger, you know, he he uh, he he set himself up as a, a Serapis. Okay, all of this stuff goes back to uh, uh pay, look, see. The truth is coming out, man. I didn't even, I didn't type in your house. That's, 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 you know, brothers bringing it out. You know, this, this truth is coming out, man. People are seeing that this guy right here, this, 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 this niggard right here, man, this, this freaking de uh, deceiving homosexual faggot devil, man, this dude right here, he's not the Messiah, man. People already know. Got you. That's how. That's how. That's how the so-called white man looking at your ass. Got you. If you're still praying to Jesus in 2018, man, the Most High is going. Man, the Most High is going to go down on you, man. You that's better, right. man. You made, man. You better do some research, man. This guy right here is not. This is not the guy, man. This ain't the guy. Just do some research on Serapis Christus, man. You'd be surprised what you find. Okay. Um. And so we're gonna go back here to uh. John, I want you to read John 6 and um, 60. Um, you know what? Actually, no, we got that. Okay, so the last verse. Uh, you know what? Shoot, I mean, did you have anything else, brother? Nah. Yeah, I mean, I believe the point was made, man. I know we kind of been on for a little minute, so hey, you know. We had we had one. Uh, did you have another did one? You want, did you want Isaiah 42 and 9? Um, shoot. I mean, if the spirit fits, go ahead, brother. Bring it up. No, I, I, I hadn't, I hadn't read the scripture. You know, those that's on the list. Isaiah forty-two. Let's go ahead and get it. Kind. Isaiah forty-two and nine. It says, um, "Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them." OK. And what are we doing? We're telling the things that are to come before they before they uh, spring forth, because we are that oracle. We're the we are the we are the uh, uh, the uh, public, the the uh, publishers of the word. OK, that's why uh, in the beginning of these pro of these prophets uh, 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 chapters, sometimes they say, you know, hear ye the word of the Lord. OK. And publish it, you know. But the former things, former certain former prophecies have, have come to pass, and now the Most High is declaring new things. All right, which is why in verse ten it says, "Sing unto Yahweh a new song, and prepare his praise from the end of the earth." You see, so that new song is what this truth that that uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 um, piping that we're pre that we're piping to our people that uh, the song that we're playing. And they're not dancing to it though, so guess what's gonna happen to them? Hey man, the Most High's not gonna have no mercy when it's time uh, 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 to avenge blood, okay? Because our people aren't altogether guiltless, all right. The reason why they're in that captivity, why why we are in this captivity, is because us as a nation went off 
from following our power, man. Okay? It says, sing unto Yahweh a new song and praise and his praise from the end of the earth. All right? We're all the way over here in America. We got brothers uh, uh, over there in uh, in Europe. Okay? Brothers in uh, uh, Europe. We got brothers in, shoot, Africa. I've seen camps out there in Africa. I was that in uh, Ghana or something like that. Okay? From uh, from all, all over the four corners of the earth, man. Okay? Down in uh, Central America, South America. Okay? All over the place, man. It says, Ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Okay? Jamaica. We got brothers out there in Jamaica. All over the place, man. We're preaching. We're publishing that that uh, that this gospel, this good news. Okay? To tell our people who have been scattered all, all uh, throughout the four corners of the earth that Yahweh Shai is coming back, man. And if you don't repent in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you will be destroyed, man. Okay? That's right. So you got to have that that new wine skin in order to receive that new wine. Let's close out on that and we can we can end it on that, brother. Let's go back to Come Luke on. chapter uh, 5. Come on, now. Read that verse 37 again, Baba Kusha. This is Luke chapter 5, verse 37. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are pressured. Preserved. Are slakia, preserved. Right. And so both being preserved, meaning the word and you yourself are going to maintain dwelling. You're going to you're going to maintain dwelling with the word and the word is going to maintain dwelling with you. And who is that word? You have a shot. OK, but you have to be spiritual enough to accept. OK, it doesn't necessarily have to do with your 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 physical age It's really your 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 spiritual uh, 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 acceptance, man, because the scriptures say, uh, uh, you know, except you come. Roughly paraphrasing, in the spirit of a child, you can't really enter into the kingdom of heaven because you don't have the ability to accept new things. All right, this is this this is uh, something that uh, uh, causes you to uh, to transform, man. You have to adapt, man. Okay, when you're in war, you're not always on the battlefield. Sometimes you gotta hide. Sometimes you gotta blend in the in the population or whatever, man. Okay, you can't just be just one one. One speed, you know. You can't just be one, one, uh, uh, one color, one language. You got to be everything, man. You got to be able to, 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 to uh, uh, operate in any situation. All right. Hey, so I believe the point was made, brother. If you got a precept or anything, anything you want to say? Kind. Uh, I was just gonna look this up uh, real quick. What, what was that scripture you just quoted? Uh, you know where it's coming from. Uh. You know, about like being like a child. Oh, except except a man be like a child, he he shall in no wise enter into the kingdom of heaven. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this is uh Matthew chapter eighteen and four. It says, Whosoever shall uh therefore shall humble himself as this you know what? Uh let me start a verse um two it says and yahweh shai called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and ver and said verily i say unto you except ye be converted ye i'm sorry and become as little children see now this is that conversion that's the baptism that's that transformation it says except you be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven and whosoever, therefore, shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest. The same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Why? It's because he's able to uh, hold those uh, uh, that knowledge, man. That true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua requires you. It requires you to be like a child in this in 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 in, in humility. Okay. If you think you know every damn thing, man, you you're not gonna be able to learn nothing. OK, we have to we have to realize we really don't know anything because the most high only reveals what he specifically wants. And we see that these Christian so-called scholars are, are 
are completely gone. They don't have it, man. They don't have it. They ain't got the. They don't have the juice. They don't have that that spiritual uh, uh, baptism. So they just robots trying to compute, you know, and and do certain tasks only a, a real life human being can do. Okay. Um, I think that was it on that verse. Uh, verse five. It says, "And whoso shall come, I'm sorry. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me." Okay, and so we are supposed to receive one who uh, uh, is is a, a, a believer in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because that's basically like you receiving Yahweh Shai. That's basically like you receiving Yahweh Shai himself. All right. Hey, so Lord willing, you brothers will edify with that. We're going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Waha Racha Kodash. Double honor. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Uh, peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. And uh, until next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.